Hands up. Tom, just how are you feeling physically right now, and what was the toughest part of really the last few months, not being 100% trying to work your way back? Uh, I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, really the toughest part probably getting back in shape, I think, would probably be the toughest part. Considering your camp injury, I'm pretty sure I know the question, but with the running back room being the way it is, your career history as a running back in high school, was there ever any, like, hey, smile, you want to push a running back? Nah, it, it wasn't none of that. <laughs> Well, is there any extra added, I don't know, energy playing an SEC team? I, I know that you're all supposed to prepare the same for all of them, but do you sense any any edge or playing a nationally televised game? Um, I would say uh, for right now, I wouldn't necessarily feel it, but um, I'm just trying to attack practice every day and get better. So uh, what's been your impression so far of C.J. Allen and the fact he's gotten to play as much as he has early on? What's worse to have you about CJ? Uh, he's just real smart, like the way he goes about his business. And uh, really him and all the other freshmen that came in, Raylan and uh, Troy too, the way they go about their business, you know, they take it real serious. So uh, I feel like they got a bright future, like a real bright future. I asked Kirby this question a few minutes ago, so I don't, I don't know if you know this. Did you know the last home game Georgia lost? Uh, I think South Carolina uh, a couple years ago. Does, does that add any anything? to the game, the fact that that, that wasn't a very good South Carolina team either, and they were able to win. Is that just kind of a, an awareness that anybody can beat anybody on a given day? Uh, yeah, but that's kind of something like we always know. Like anybody could be anybody on a given day. You know, that's why you always got to put your best foot forward and prepare like, you know, just prepare the best you can. Well, what have you been able to see so far from South Carolina's offense and what problems do they present this weekend? Uh, they got a real athletic team, you know, um, see um, Spencer Rattler, you know, quarterback we seen last year, got a real talented arm, big arm. They got uh, physical, fast receivers, and um, just some good backs. Rattler's not necessarily a scrambler, but he does extend plays. How much of an emphasis has it been this week to get him on the ground? Um, yeah, you know, uh, he's he's uh, he's good at extending plays and then um, throwing the ball downfield. So that's something we've been working on. Yeah, if Javon's not out there on Saturday, what changes about this defense, if anything at all? Uh, I don't think nothing changes really because uh, whoever's behind Javon, you know, has been working just as hard as he has. So it's a next man up mentality. You know, I know uh, whoever's going to step in this place if he's not ready. They're going to be able to go out there and do the best of their ability. So, how big do you feel like the role is that Kamari plays on defense and having a guy like that in the secondary? You guys know. I feel like having a guy like that in the secondary is like real big. You know, Kamari's a guy that we see uh, all the work he puts in. And we really just see uh, how much he cares about it. So, like, having a guy they can count on is real big. You know, having somebody you can trust. It's kind of a technical question here. I don't know if y'all, I think I call him Mac and Money or Mike and Will, whatever the distinction is. You play Will, JD plays Mike. JD, JD, could y'all play both? Are y'all interchangeable? And is the rest of the roster interchangeable in that room? Uh, yeah, it's not really like a like a Mike and Will thing. It's kind of just like whichever side you're on, yeah. for real. Like it's not really like um, like we all know how to play both. Your second year starting next to Jermon, how has your relationship with him, both on and off the field, developed as you guys move into the second year, more comfortable in theory with each other? On the field, I would think um, kind of like a bigger leadership role since like we're older, or we're kind of the older guys on the team now versus last year, how we were just coming in, trying to learn everything, get our feet like settled. I think now we're more of a, taking on a leadership role, 
And then off the field, I mean, me and him been like tight since we first came in here, so ain't nothing really changed. We got closer, if anything, over the years. Any other questions? You were asking Javon yesterday about you, and he was talking about how you're a quiet guy, but not really. He said you, you were, you're able to make him laugh. Can you give us any insight as to the dynamic that he's talking about? Um, I mean, that's people say I'm quiet, like if you don't really like necessarily know me. But like, like I said, me and him, we tight, so like I, we talk all the time, bro. So Jamon kind of told us about your personality. So tell us about Jamon, you know, his personality, what he's like, kind of away from football. Uh, loud for sure. Like you gonna you gonna hear him. Um, just loud, goofy. You know, just it's somebody you always want to be around. You know, you gonna brighten up your day. Just somebody you like being around. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Yeah, thank you.